your video of a la turca, I'm going to give you a few ideas of what we could do now to make it even better. You've got some great things going on in it already. Um, I think you've really got the idea of the articulation, especially at the beginning, the taya ta ka tam taya ta ka tam That's sounding great, um, which is really good. One thing that we could add to that little bit now is seeing if on that first section, those first four bars, we can start piano and see if we can finish it nice and loud. So still with all, you, all the same articulation that you were doing though. So I've got, it's more exciting, we're saying something, and we're getting louder as well. Now, something that um, is quite tricky in this, and especially when you're unaccompanied at the moment, is when we get to the end of that phrase, we go into the quavers. And it's really tempting to play these a bit too fast because we've played all this exciting da 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 dum da 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 dum We've got to slow down on those quavers so that they're in time. Um, so I'm going to just play that little bit. I'm going to put my metronome on. And that's what I suggest you should do. So I'm putting my metronome at crotchet equals 88. Now that's what it says and that's up to speed. You might want to do it a little bit slower to start with. But don't, I think you'll get that. I think it'll be okay. It's the, again, those semi quavers in. Let's give it a go. So it feels like you're putting the brakes on when you get to those quavers, but they've really got to be in time and a bit slower. So I'm sure that's fine. If you can already play them fast, it should be easy to slow them down. So that's something to work on there. Now, one thing with your articulation, because it's really good, I think we could just guess one bit that you do something a bit different. In bar 21, and then it comes again in 25, it's the same little passage. You're slurring all your semi quavers there. And it'd be nice to see if we could get the same taya taka articulation that you've done earlier on. I'll just play you from bar 20 into it so you can hear what I mean. that okay another suggestion with this one I wonder if you've ever tried starting at the end and working backwards sounds a bit silly but I bet you always start at the very beginning which is quite normal but the end is is tricky and it's a bit it probably needs a bit more practice and if we start, always start at the beginning, we get really good at the start, and sometimes just forget about the end, or we've given up a bit by then. So why don't you start, we're in A major, we've got all our sharps now, start on the last phrase from bar 49. And have a good go at that until you're happy with it. But start your practice there. And then work back and go to the start of the A major section. Okay. One final suggestion that you could do with this is have a play with the ABRs and practice partner as well. Because you're missing the piano part, which is, is fine. We're, we often have to practice without the piano. But it'll give you an idea of what's going on around you, because that will make the piece complete. So you know in the bars rest what will be what will be happening in the piano, and it helps you just know for your counting in between. But really good, keep going, keep practicing with it. So the few things I want to work on, we've got that new articulation in bar uh, 21 round there. We're going to see if we can crescendo through the first four bars, the first line. And the main thing that we really need to work on is making sure we're keeping these quavers nice and steady now. So stick your metronome on and keep them really steady and in time. Great, keep going, well done.